Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Resource Manager and its hierarchy structure. Azure Resource Manager is the deployment and management service for Microsoft Azure. It provides a consistent management layer that enables us to create, update and delete resources in our Azure account. ARM organizes resources in a structured hierarchy to help manage and control access, billing and compliance. We can use management features like access control, locks and tags to secure and organize our resources after deployment. When we send a request through any of the Azure APIs, tools or SDKs, Resource Manager receives the request, it authenticates and authorizes the request before forwarding it to the appropriate Azure service. Because all requests are handled through the same API, we see consistent results and capabilities in all the different tools. All capabilities that are available in the Azure portal are also available through PowerShell, the Azure CLI, REST APIs and Client SDKs. The hierarchy under Azure Resource Manager defines how Azure resources are logically grouped and managed. When using Azure Resource Manager, there is some specific terminology you should be aware of. The most common terms include resource, resource group etc. A resource is any manageable item that is available through Azure. These are the fundamental building blocks of our Azure infrastructure. Examples of resources include virtual machines, storage accounts, web apps, databases and virtual networks. In short, a resource is an individual instance of a service that you can create, configure and manage. Resources are deployed into resource groups. Resource group is a logical container that holds related resources for an Azure solution. The resource group includes those resources that we want to manage as a group. We decide which resources belongs in a resource group based on what makes the most sense for our organization. Resources in the group should share the same life cycle like deploy, update and delete together. It also enables granular access control and easier cost tracking. Resource groups are contained within Azure subscription. A subscription is a logical container used to provision and manage Azure resources. It serves as a billing unit, a resource boundary and an access control scope. Azure charges are aggregated per subscription and invoices are generated monthly. Budgets and alerts can be set at the subscription level to control spending in our organization. A management group is a top level container in the Azure governance hierarchy that helps you organize and manage multiple subscription efficiently. Keep in mind that single organization can have multiple subscription and to manage them there will be a management group. It allows you to apply policies, access controls and compliance rules across many subscriptions from a centralized point. Every Azure tenant has a root management group that is automatically created. Management groups are free and there is no charge for using them. A company might have structure like this. A management group named MSFT Webcast. A subscription with the name Dev Deployment. Resource group named Web App RG01. And under the resource group, we have resources like App Service, Database and Storage Account. So to summarize, a resource is an individual instance of a service that you can create, configure and manage. Resources are deployed into resource groups and they belong to a specific Azure subscription. Azure management groups are containers that help organize and manage multiple Azure subscriptions. So this is the introduction to Azure Resource Manager and its hierarchy with its components. I hope this video help you understand Azure Resource Manager and its hierarchy. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.